This is Dr. Greg Oliver and welcome back to Fat Doctor TV. Well today we're uh, uh, filming our episode here in New Orleans, the Big Easy. Uh, and uh, of course you all know it's well known for Mardi Gras and I guess now the Saints who won the Super Bowl last year and uh, all that stuff that goes on down here like jazz and uh, crawfish etouffee. But um, an exciting town to be in. The reason we're here is uh, it's the American Society of Bariatric Physicians annual meeting. And so uh, yours truly, Fat Doctor, is attending the meeting and learning as much as possible. Um, this is a great opportunity for uh, physicians who deal with obesity and weight loss and weight management to learn new things, to get up to date on all the, all the techniques in helping their patients and clients to lose weight and to maintain weight and just to become healthy. It's also a great opportunity to network with other physicians who are bariatricians and spend their time helping their patients to uh, lose weight and get healthy. Uh, also, we're listening to presentations about uh, uh, everything from the physiology of obesity to new medications and uh, a great opportunity to see new studies that are being done and uh, data that's coming out on, uh, on obesity and weight management. Um, today was the first day, uh, a course that kind of went over lots of things. We covered the pathophysiology of obesity. Uh, we covered uh, physical activity, how to get our patients uh, moving in the, the path of greater physical activity, greater movement, uh, not only to lose weight, but to maintain weight. And we also talked about psychologic barriers uh, that all of us run into when we're trying to lose weight or to get healthier. We also talked about advanced pharmacotherapy. That's the use of medications uh, in the treatment of obesity and all of the different complexities that uh, are, are really the cause of obesity. I think sometimes we blame ourselves specifically like I should just be able to push away from the table or eat less, but we know that obesity, weight loss, and weight management uh, are very complex issues. Uh, uh, not only are there genetic factors and environmental factors, but we also know that there are specific uh, hormonal factors uh, uh, that play a huge role in that. We looked at a lot of those today and discussed a lot of that. Uh, we looked at the physical barriers to weight loss. Uh, and the reason I'm mentioning these topics that we covered is over the next month, uh, we'll be talking very specifically to you about the things we've learned and what Fat Doctor can talk about and, and hopefully help you in your uh, uh, quest and journey to lose weight and to become healthier. We looked at uh, some legal issues that are out there with uh, uh, the treatment of obesity. Uh, we looked at behavioral modification, some uh, very good information on how to assist patients in changing the way we think and changing the way we behave so that not only is the weight loss going to happen, but also it'll stay off long term. And then we looked at, the, uh, at some of the, what are called the secrets of long-term weight loss. And we're looking forward, uh, I'm looking forward to, to uh, teaching you some of the things that we've learned here uh, in New Orleans. Uh, just a tip to take away from the day, this was uh, uh, not earth shattering, but I know there's a trend out there nowadays that says that diets don't work. And um, you, you, know, you may believe that, you may not believe that, but coming out of today's seminar, I think the, uh, a key point is that diets do work. Uh, and, and, to, and to make believe that we don't go on some diet to lose weight or to get healthier is really kind of not realistic. Now, it is true that being on a diet all your life is not going to work. You can't do that. But I think what we need to do is look at a diet as an event. Uh, so we've gained 20, 50, 75, 100 or more pounds. We need to have a specific event occur in our life that will take us down to a healthier weight. And that's called a diet. Yes, you can't stay on it long term because reducing calories below what your body expends on a regular basis uh, would ultimately uh, uh, not work. It would, would end up in, in disease and death. Uh, but, but staying on a diet for a prescribed period of time, a specific way to eat, a specific way to treat your body to get it from the weight you're at to a very healthy weight is an event that you may need to do. And so as a uh, physician who treats uh, obesity and a physician who treats weight uh, management and also has spent a, a great deal of my life working on on keeping weight down and working to avoid uh, extended periods of obesity and to get healthier myself uh, these are very important facts that we learn here and so I'm anxious to share these with you so the tip of the day is that diets do work 
but we've got to look at them as a very specific event in our life to get us healthier. And then the most important thing is what do we do once the event of the diet is over? What do we do to go from the diet to transition over to eating healthy and to exercising regularly and to looking at specific things that keep us uh, healthy long term? And then what do we do for maintenance long term? So excited to be here in New Orleans for the ASBP, American Society of Bariatric Physician Meetings, looking to gain lots of information to go back and help my own patients, myself, and to help you. So again, this is Dr. Greg Oliver reporting to you from uh, New Orleans. And uh, whatever you do, uh, I hope your week is very good. And the next time we talk, uh, I hope we'll be talking to less of you. So have a great day. Goodbye from Fat Doctor TV.